Hi, everyone. My name is Joan Kaler. I'm a licensed professional counselor and an advanced practitioner and trainer of emotional freedom techniques. I'm going to be recording some tips for using EFT with OCD. So this is my first tip. When you are working with someone that has obsessive compulsive disorder, you want to find out what the unwanted thoughts, images, um, words, whatever is in their mind that is unwanted, that is triggering anxiety, an icky feeling that it's not right feeling, whatever that might be and the situations that they are avoiding so as not to trigger those feelings. So you take one unwanted thought or image and ask them what the emotion is that they're feeling. Is it, this isn't right? Is it anxiety? If they are prevented, here's the thing. You've got the obsession, then you've got the compulsion to relieve the anxiety or the icky feeling brought on by the obsession, by the unwanted thought. So looking at the feeling, if they are prevented from doing the compulsion, what emotion are they feeling? Usually it's anxiety because OCD is an anxiety disorder. So then you rate it zero to 10. And then you use emotional freedom techniques to tap down the intensity of the anxiety or the negative emotion that is brought on by the obsession. All right, now the purpose of this is to eliminate that anxious feeling so that they can proceed to do exposure and response prevention, which is the gold standard in the treatment for OCD. Now, I've been trained by the International OCD Foundation in Cognitive Behavior Therapy and Exposure and Response Prevention. And what I have found is when I use emotional freedom techniques, it makes doing exposure and response prevention a whole lot easier in that when you do the exposure, then they don't feel the fear anymore. So if it's a matter of um, I'm afraid of contamination, so I must wash my hands. Have them feel contamination by putting their hands on the floor or by putting by holding something that they feel is dirty, like taking hold of a doorknob. So then they automatically feel contaminated and they want to wash their hands. So then you take, before you even go there, you say, how anxious do you feel just thinking about getting contaminated, putting your hands on the floor or touching the doorknob. And they tell you zero to 10 or zero to 100, just how anxious they feel even thinking about doing an exposure. And then you tap that down with EFT. And then they are no longer, they no longer have that intensity of fear of doing the exposure and they do it. And then they don't have to wash their hands because they no longer feel contaminated. So this may seem strange, but one of the reasons that EFT works so well is because it doesn't override a fear. You have memory reconsolidation by treating the anxiety itself, not overriding it by allowing the, by waiting for the anxiety to go down. You're actually treating the anxiety. And no, it doesn't turn into another compulsion because compulsions are used to relieve the anxiety. But if you use EFT, then the anxiety disappears and there's no reason to tap it again. So, this is my first explanation of how to use EFT for OCD. If you want to learn more, 
go to my website, efttappingcertification.info, and I will be teaching a live Zoom class on how to do this, as well as how to treat other subtypes of OCD with EFT tapping. So that will be on February 24th of 2023. Okay, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.